let's return to this. Let's let's finish here the last 40 minutes. New to citizen over here. I think I'm gonna keep getting leaders so that we can sort of customize it. Um, I like the leaders. They they've got the the six percent boost in a category. What what category is it? I can never find it. It's whiskey. And it's not citizens, even though it should be. Got more whiskey and chocolate coming in from uh, the Zodiac. Hey, thank you very much. Hey man, sorry to hear about Gilbert. That uh, uncertainty sucks. Good vibes and well wishes. Thank you very much, and that really does help a lot on multiple levels. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're still waiting for the election, so I'm gonna. You know what? I'm actually gonna boost the approval as much as possible going into the election here, because I think that's happening now, right? Four turns until the election. Yeah, we'll keep the uh, the approval as high as possible, and then maybe we'll shift things afterwards, because we're you know we're um. Uh, cynical politicians. All we have to do is like fool the populace and they'll do whatever. Okay, we're gonna build a bunch of research labs over here. And each one of these is gonna have adjacency bonuses with the other research labs. This is on Kane, which already has a pretty substantial science bonus, so that's gonna help again. Although at some point we would like to boost the population if we can. We got more malevolent um, ideology points. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going down greed for now. The Oz got some interesting possibilities as we keep going, but the first three levels of greed, I think, are going to be very good. We'll get to the Citadel of Revenue, which is going to give us more money and more ideology points, then we may start down awe. So by doing this, we'll get an extra tile to work on each one of our planets, which is going to be super valuable. Uh, whiskey and chocolate. More whiskey and chocolate. Blood Elf Knight! Thank you very much, Blood Elf Knight. Thank you. Time to talk to talk, take the time to talk to Incentra yeah, IRL. If you need to, we'll all understand. I know you will. And we've only got, you know, we've only got a little bit of this left. It's going to be fine. I'll feel better having done something. You know, it 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 felt blah to not be able to record some stuff this morning. And so it'll make me feel better to get something done uh, over here. And yeah. So he's good. He's good. What's Xenobiology? Medical Center. Deadmate. Oh, thank you very much as well, Deadmate. Great mod. Good support. Good friend, too. Hopefully we'll be back in the, in the Scottish lands relatively soon. Uh, thank you. Bum, 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 bum. It's whiskey and chocolate. Obsidian War PJs. First of all, that's a really cool name. Thank you as much. I was in the exact same position almost exactly a year ago. It's tough. Won't deny that. Do what you think is best. I guess that's all we can. That's all we can try to do, huh? Technology capital. We're gonna unlock that because I'm gonna want to build the technology capital building in Kane. I always do excellent work. You're doing this is so helpful to others. Uh, at least to me. Well, thank you very much, Thought Dancer. You're always someone else who's around a bunch. Uh, by the way, uh, we will be doing Ludum Dare uh, this time. It's in two weeks. Yeah, not this Saturday, like not this weekend, and not next weekend, but the weekend after that. So in just over two weeks from now, we will be Ludum Daring one more time. I'm really pumped to be doing that again. You know, didn't do the last one. Um, and it was good at the time. It was really good at the time to, to not do that. Uh, but. I want to get back in. Ah, these squirrels are the worst. These guys are the worst. He's gonna give us precursor nanites and exploration treaty in exchange for a bunch of stuff. No, biological warfare sounds tempting. The thing is, they really like me for some reason. Outside travel range, skill and diplomacy. We're also gonna get open borders, so open borders and exploration treaty. But really, they're just sweetening the pot with precursor nanites, and maybe that's really good. And they want a bunch of techs, including some pretty potent ones. So I think the answer is no. Thanks for the bits, Resi. Your Empire Shad flag should be the Flanco Ontario one. It is awfully nice. I do like it. Okay, we got a few bucks, but I don't think we're going to rush any of our productions over here. We're not making much money. We are trying to get some trade units, which probably, I just realized, are still accumulating over here. That's exactly what's going on. I suppose I could rally by type or something. Now, I think I sent something over here. So we're going to send you there. Where's the other one? And there. Because you can only have one trade route to each planet. As if terrestrial feral squirrels weren't bad enough. <laughs> Where's Rocket when you need him? Murder squirrels. So, yeah, the Drengen are still buzzing around out here, mostly harassing the Altarians. I don't know if they've got transport fleets going around either, though. The thing is, we could still move down here with our fleet and just harass some of their, their mining infrastructure, that sort of thing. Terran resistance are going to war against the Thalen contingency. 
We're being attacked by the Musquidian Expanse. Please help us by giving us 175 credits. You know what? Yes! I'll get friendlier with them, and what the hell, I'll support their war efforts against the Musquidian Expanse. Quill flag, a large waffle with Brussels sprouts on it and green sauce. Ew! Like, the waffles are great. The Brussels sprouts are great. Never the twain shall meet. Not in the same plate, anyway. I don't know. I mean, I guess you can do, uh, what is it, like chicken and waffles? That's a thing, right? With some, with some Brussels sprouts on the side? I guess that wouldn't be the worst. I don't know. Open borders reduce tension. Good. Still no threats right now, which is nice. Got another paladin being made over there. There's another freighter, which is going to that spot. We're going to go and send you instead. Uh, I'm a little worried that the dragon might interrupt us on the way, but you know what? I'm going to send you there. By the time you get there, maybe that war won't be as much of an issue. Next turn. So, over here, the borders... Uh, maybe aren't moving as much as we'd like, but I think they will over time. Give it the defense system for more influence growth, but I think we'll just hold off. Meanwhile, how's this planet? It is now 2 point... Oh, it's 54% rebellion. Nice. Okay. We will get that planet at some point. Bum, 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 bum. Yes, I know they have a powerful military. Okay. Shipyard is idle. Let's build more paladins right now. That is what we need. Now, if the shipyard is idle, that means you probably just made another trade ship. Or maybe you were making more paladins. Okay, fair enough. What is this? That's a paladin. And they're just there. Nope, keep making them. Borders. Yeah, the borders are really... There's influence that grows out from your planets and your star bases. So these are our borders here and here. We have a lot of disconnected space, or discontinuities. Okay, we're gonna keep moving our fleet towards the Dragon. Again, we move very slowly because we don't have any engine boosters on these ships. They were originally designed mostly for defensive purposes, but we'll see what we can do. If we can catch any of these fleets, we should be able to obliterate them because we've designed our ships here. These Paladins are really well designed to exterminate these Drangans. We're going to have our election over here, which we should win fairly easily. Booyah, excellent. Top dissenting planet is Quilia, but we still had 75% of the vote over there. Research complete. Xeno research is done. We can build the technology capital. Excellent. More tech, more better. We could get more missile optimization because we're mostly using that to fight. We could reduce missile cooldown, increase its range, make the missiles cheaper, make them smaller. I'm kind of intended uh, in, um, in favor of making them smaller so that it, when we get our next type of hull, which actually is a good question as to when we'll get that, um, we can uh, fit more missiles on there. Okay, you, man, you love us. You're going to miss some resources, shield enhancement, you want missile weapons, that, interstellar government. I mean, you want a fair amount of tech and some money. You know what? Fine, dude. You're cool. I like you. You're not You're not the death of the squirrels. Oh, you are still... You were moving in a way I didn't necessarily want. I should have overridden your movement commands. Well, hello. They moved right next to me here. Now, that's their larger fleet with 10 ships in it. But you can see, like, they're mostly kinetic weapons, and we are heavily based around armor. <sighs> Defeat likely. Really? You think so? Why? Why is defeat likely? They have all kinetic attack, and we have... Okay, not exclusively the, um, the armor, because some of our ships are the Defiance, which have the other type of armor. But we're going to block a lot of their attack, and they're going to block basically... No, they're going to block none of our attack. How could we possibly lose this? Oh, I don't have a commander. I think, I think our commander died before. That might be part of it. 
I guess there's a hit point. Yeah, I saw I saw that, Zoltan. It's unfortunate. Total hit points, 87. We have more hit points. We have 100 hit points. I'm very confused as to why it thinks we would lose this. This game lies. Could be related to ship rolls. Maybe. I suppose what we'll do is we'll just try to move closer to this fleet here. Play it a little bit safer. I don't know. This is Quilia. This is our capital. Um, we have enough food. We could grow our population. I think I will. We will have some approval problems a little bit later. Oh, I don't have enough food? We need four food. I have six food. How can I not build a city? All right, whatever. Uh, strategic command. We could build one. It gives us an extra general. Eh. We could build some some influence buildings. An embassy. Uh, one per player for each one of these. Hey, thanks for the bits. Summit, summit. Yeah, I know LD42 is three hours earlier. I know. What else? Financial capital, research, strategic command, import export center. This is more tourist income. Food spare top left. Is, is spare food shared empire-wide? I didn't realize that. That's why I can build cities on my other planets, as long as we have some place making food for us. I see. I see. Okay. You know what? We'll, we'll build the diplomatic ministry over here. It's fine. Yeah, I only have three colonies right now. Okay, so these Drengen, the one we're sort of aiming for, are, are running into us over here. And yes, we should be able to overwhelm them. Let's view the battle. This is us. This is them. They did kill one of our ships over here. And we have two different kinds. We have both Defiance and Paladins in here. And they have a couple of different types of attack. But overall, this should go pretty okay. Woo! Victory! We lost four units in that! Man! I guess that might explain how we could lose that other fleet in all this. Alright, so as soon as it's my turn again, we'll group up a little bit more. Do you have an affiliate link for this game? I do not. I think actually there I, there's a way for me to have one. I think I'm supposed to have one set up, and I've sort of just been inconsistent, so new. No. Now keep an eye, this is a game that comes on sale a fair amount, so you want to pay attention to that. So we're going to move you that way. I'm also going to go and take these ships and eject you out this way so we can sort of meet a little bit in the middle and group up a little bit because there's still a larger fleet buzzing around here. Okay. I'm a little concerned that the Drengen might be coming for us instead of being like somewhere. Oh, well, look at these guys. This is only seven ships in this fleet. But they have 38 attack. Each one of these has six attack. Some have four. They have some powerful little weapons over here. Oh! That other fleet did find us. And they did beat us up. Dang. All right. Turn around. Park back over here. Shoot. Well, I mean, we did some damage to them at least. Yeah, I know we'd be over. Like, I knew we wouldn't be able to combine anything, but I still wanted to get them close. Because if there was a partial fight, we might be able to pick up the stragglers, but not in this case. So we'll finish missile miniaturization, and then we're going to see what we can do maybe to get a bigger hull size. Getting more logistics is also nice, because then you can have a bigger fleet. It's actually one of the most important things you can do. I think Dragon have a natural fleet modifier, maybe. That's the, ah, that's the other thing. There's all sorts of, um, hang on, Diplomacy, Drengen, Report. So they're Militant. Oh, no, that's not the one. Brutal? No, that's Soldiering. Tough. Yeah, they have a 20% boost to their hit points over here from being tough. 
Yeah, that's that's a lot. He's got the extra tile over here. Kane Kane is still my research area, but some production is still good. We got a mega factory over here, so I think what I'll do is I'll put another factory right next to it. They can boost each other, and that's going to be okay. I'll start with large hull research. Wow. We can switch governments in one turn. I don't know if we'd want to, though. But we can. We can also have a few more trade routes. Some of your citizens have fallen prey to native parasite, which take over their mental functions. These parasites, using your own people as mouthpieces, would like a word with you. Are we going to communicate with them, search for a cure, or try to weaponize this creature? Oh! Tech capital building! You're right, that's what I was supposed to do, Tank Well, Thank you very much for the reminder. Yeah, let me shrink my head a little. And then do that. One, one, three, one... You know what? We're going to try to communicate with the Parasites. We had some cool brain slugs in Stellaris. Let's do the same thing here. And a new citizen. We need a new commander. So there you go. That is done. Shipyard idle over here. Oh, right. I want to check under trade. Yeah, I can build five more trade ships. Although, we also need to make sure we don't die. I think I have to keep squeezing out paladins for now here. Curing sounds more evil since they sound sentient. That's a good point, actually. We've been going benevolent, so three makes sense. There's that, too. You do tend to want to mostly focus on an ideology. Not necessarily, though. You don't need to in the same way that you might have in previous versions of Galsiv. Okay, cheaper missile mass. That's good. Now, I want to take a look at the tech tree. And I think it's under engineering for the bigger ships. Yeah, right here, medium hulls. So if we head towards zero gravity construction, which requires orbital specialization first. No, oh, no, we can do it now. Never mind, we already got it. We can unlock medium hulls. And I think that's going to be very good. Can you resign your lease? Thank you very much for the reminder of that, actually. Um, was that under civilization? Yeah. So... I don't think we need the approval booster anymore. Let's boost, boost research for now. Should we have Freedom of Technology Act? United Nations, an attempt to equalize opportunity will require all of its members to provide one tech to be shared with all members. I'm going to say new. No. Final vote was yes. Okay. I'm going to say no because I was sort of in a tech advantage spot because of all my tech trading. Okay, so brain slugs or the hypnotoad? Which one's better or stronger? <laughs> bum 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 bum. The you know, factory. Oh yeah, we got the Prime Minister Starship over here. How's this planet come along? 85% rebellion. Soon. And yeah, we could build a slew of influence star bases over here, which I'm kind of tempted to do. Your and the Arcans are going to war. Okay. Build me some more paladins. Trade offer. Exploration treaty and money for a couple of techs. And we also have open borders. This sounds great. Exploration treaty and open borders with these guys. In exchange for a little bit of money and I get a bunch of techs. Frick yes. Your income? It's not great. Approval's okay. I'm gonna increase the ta tax rate to 60%. Can hurt production though, of course. When you're building Space Petra. <laughs> uh, those Paladins, the updated versions? I mean, they should be.
Yeah, because it has it has the two point attack. Although since I did just shrink the missile size, it's possible that we have enough room for something else on here. We have seven more space. So with seven space, I mean, first of all, now it'd be nice to um. to filter based on things I can put. Yeah, I don't know if seven does anything for us. Mostly the, the reduced mass makes a big difference. I can get more armor on here. I can get another titanium plating, look at that. The reduced mass in Berlin starts to make a big difference when you've got bigger ships, because it tends to math out better. But yeah, I can get even more physical defense. 2.1. Yeah, I know. Escort's all fine. So I will obsolete the 2.0. There we go. Trade offer. Stellar Marines, which is 14 turn tech. Advanced Resource Harvesting, which is an 8 turn tech. So that's 22 turns worth of tech in exchange for a ton of cheaper ones, which is what you want to do. Yeah, this is a great deal. A great deal. See, they love us. So good, good, good offers. And I think this is the Exploration Treaty, the latest one over there. So we're getting more vision over more of the galaxy. Some of it's a little funny still. And we're seeing the movement of their ships, which is great. I guess we don't retroactively see their map. We get vision around all their planets and all their current ships. So it will start to explore that for us. And that's great. We do have uh, the ability to upgrade some of our ships, or some of our star bases, which we might do. Uh, to me, that does look like the border's pushed out some. But yeah, we will have to build some more constructors there. Someone built the Navigation Center Galactic Achievement. Okay, that's fine. Trade offer. Uh, how about no? Oh, you don't like us. Why? We are ripe for conquest. Who are the Green Man Fire? They're huge. Well, there's two green bits, actually, as part of it. There's this dark green over here. Those are the Musquidians. And there's a brighter green over here which are the Fallon. So it's a little bit whatever, but the Musquidians are actually big because it's here and then up to here. This is all Musquidian. This is a custom race I made. We did make them um, one difficulty higher than everyone else. Hey, we finally act annex Barissa the one. Hooray. Meanwhile, a motivational speaker has established himself as a prominent voice in the galaxy. His vague solutions to complex problems capturing the minds of all who hear him, although no actual problems seem to be getting solved by his techniques. People in every industry are at least getting along better with their neighbors. Okay. Um, yeah, we got a planet over here, Barissa. Ready to go. Uh, it'll do some upgrades. Basically, it's got a lot of manufacturing, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and audit, like just double-click for some of these upgrades here. That's going to be okay. Things will develop. The mineral rich over there, too. It had its own shipyard. Now, what I think I'm going to do... Oh, this shipyard still belongs to the other people. I'm assuming it'll get decommissioned at some point. That's weird. There you go, the other Barissa. So now, this shipyard here, the Barissa shipyard, is getting two planets worth of production. It's going to go a lot faster, it's which is nice. And whiskey and chocolate from Dr. Dave! Hey, thank you very much! Does every planet have a Tim Hortons? Whiskey and chocolate forever! Um, it does, and we also make buildings out of Putsin. If you have enough cheese curds in there, they can hold together like bricks. Bricks. We are negative for food. I don't know what that does. Less growth? Uh, what we could decide to do is just take down... Uh, you're actually above your population cap and have 0% approval. We could take down one of the cities, like here. Lower its population cap even more and free up some food. Actually, I'm not sure that I can. Yeah, I can't destroy the city. So, hang on a sec. I mean, upgrading the colony capital is good. 
because it does everything. I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to get an approval building right away. Like an intimidation center. Beatings will continue until morale improves. You know what? Let's make it go first. Ten turns. We'll get that. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's take down a city, lower the population a bit. It's no wonder you're malevolent. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just a little genocide. That's fine. You know? <gasps> Brain Parasites! Part 2! The parasites inform you that your people are intruding on their world, where they've dwelt for many millennia. They wish us no harm, but instead desire to peacefully coexist with us. If we agree to this, we'll gain an ally, but might lose control of the colony. So, we could either accept the parasite's term, a new ally is always welcome, that's 62% chance to be successful. Or we could search for a cure, which is an 86% chance to be successful. Katie Cat, hey, thank you very much! Quill, here's a bribe! Uh, really enjoying Danica's story, please don't kill her, I'm trying not to! The, uh, the uh, cataclysm's going really well. Or we could destroy the entire colony. I mean, I think it's really good if it succeeds, but I don't like those odds. I think we're going to search for a cure. Shame we find ourselves in time of galactic war, but with you fighting our mutual enemy, we believe victory is certain. Well, that's good that you feel that way, because I don't necessarily. I wonder, actually, if we could, at this time, attempt to peace out with the Drengen. How about we find a way to end this war? I'll give you some Durantium. Plenty of that resource. I'll give you some tech. Oh, well, that's a good tech. You really like that one. I could bribe you with Stellar Folding and probably get something from the other side. Well, you're not willing to give me any military tech, any of your tech here. You know what? It's fine. We'll just wait for now because you're not actually threatening me. Although you do have something over here. What is this? That's just a survey ship. Also, we have freighters ready to go here. Which I'm going to send to there. And we're going to send it to a Musquidian planet again. Where is that scout ship? Right there. I'm going to go in that direction. Okay. Brissa 1 is losing money right now. Well, it's got, like, no morale, so that's part of it. Most likely. Cultural Radic, we got some Ascension Crystals. Got a little bit of money. We got the ability to upgrade some of our star bases. Brain Parasite successful. After studying epi epidemiological data, wow, I'm bad at words, on how the parasite spread, one of your scientists finds a plant on Kane 20C that is toxic to the brain parasites and uses it to synthesize a cure, freeing your colonists from the command of the parasites while still retaining some of their unique knowledge. Your citizens applaud your scientists' brilliance. We have unlocked a new crisis manager on the government screen. So our crisis manager... Maybe I can't change it right now until... All right, that's fine. Now, we don't know where that ship went. We've got some fog of war over here. If I take this thing, actually, and give it uh, better sensors, i tell you what, we'll give it better defense as well for a little bit more culture. We might get a little bit more vision. Can I get more sensors over here? We'll keep an eye on things just to scooch. Here, too. There we go. So centers just bulged out a bit. Excellent. So yeah, actually, our borders do. This is all our territory over here. It's only the areas where we have vision that's lit up, but there's a dead area right there. But otherwise, our borders are actually pretty contiguous. I was getting confused about things. Rip zombie bugs. <laughs> Should Barissa be renamed? Probably. I agree. We're going to have an election. Yeah, we're fine. Let's go. For Barissa over here, we're going to rename it to the name of a subscriber I see in the chat. Whoop. Uh, looks like Brixified! Brixified! Welcome to the Empire! 
Boom. Done. Excellent. And you're still pretty miserable. It'd be great to rush this, but we need... We have, like, no money. Right, of course. We'll keep working the Intimidation Center. You'll get there. Uh, idle ship's over here, so we don't know anything about... That was just a scout ship, though. It's really not a big deal. Still, what I might do is park you at the Starbase, which is fairly well... Oh! Damn it! Urgh! Whiskey and, Whiskey and chocolate from Dr. Dave again. Hey, Quill, also forget to mention how much I'm loving the Gargoyle Run and Dungeon Crawl. Can I bribe you to play a vampire necromancer? That's an excellent idea, actually. I don't think I've done anything like that before. Um, my plan, the next thing to do was to do a Spurgain Stabber, like with an Enchanter start, which I did start, but that was like uh, two weeks ago. Um, and I, it's been so long that I'll probably just restart. I only recorded a couple episodes. So I might still end up being a Spurgain Enchanter, or I might go straight into the Vampire. That might be a lot of fun. Uh, did you find out they found liquid water on Mars? Yes, I did hear about that. They suspect there's an underwater lake, a liquid lake on Mars under the South Pole, uh, which, if true, if confirmed by some other sensors, uh, will be huge, huge. Do we keep building Paladins for now? I kind of still want to build our freighters, because I think I can get... At least one more. I know we can't really check the count right now. It's a little weird. Because this shows you your active trade routes. Yeah, yeah, my trade licenses went up. So yes, I definitely can. And more trade routes equals more money. Well, maybe we'll send them off over here. Long trade routes give you more money. Uh, high population planets give you even more. Love and two-point hospital. Yeah, I can't wait for the full version to come out. So we have access to more stuff. Terran resistance has been destroyed. Wow. Wow. Been destroyed by the Musquidian Expanse. Yeah, the Musquidians are terrifying. There's no way they don't come knocking at my door relatively soon. <sighs> Scary. Um, I'm going to go and remove the um, the auto waypoint order because I'm sure there's going to be more ships that end up here that I'm like oh that wasn't supposed to be it. oh interesting that this battle started so we will blow up that, that scout after all and yeah I'm going to send the ships over here and that's going to be okay and yeah I guess I won't spend any more money to upgrade you not yet we've unlocked the medium hull so we can make bigger and badder ships some espionage might be good. If nothing else, we might just want some counter-espionage stuff. Getting the colonial banks would really help our income a lot. We could get more logistics slots as well, so that we could have bigger fleets. Or we could just get, you know, more mining for our resources, which would also be good. Or construction ship. Like, this is a really tough decision. Bigger fleets, much better at warfare. Mo this mining boost is huge. Or, on the other hand, 10% boost to building spaceships are really, really good. Advanced destabilization, that gives us some more spy stuff. Habitat improvement gives us more tiles. It's all super duper good. We could beeline. Or, oh, carriers. Carrier modules for ships. Jeez. Carriers too fast and deadly assault fighters. Probably bigger ships are going to be required. So yeah, you could beeline for something expensive, or you could just grab a bunch of the cheap ones. It's nice to trade those, though. We might want to just keep researching military techs, because people tend to like to trade for those. And there's the whole tourism thing. Tourism's good for money, and we can boost our influence. You know what? We'll finish Planetary Invasion. We've got it partially researched. No. I'm not helping you find the, fight the Terran Alliance. Alright. Paladin go over there. This paladin will park there. It's whiskey and chocolate. It's whiskey and chocolate. Who's that? It's Nosmi! Hey! Nosmoy! Thank you very much! Hey, Quill, I might be late to the party with this one. Did you see they added waffles to rise in industry? Not only waffles, but whiskey. We got whiskey and waffles added to rise in industry. Because we asked for it real nice when the developer was in the chat. <laughs> How amazing is that? <laughs> Any plan to revisit Hearts of Iron 4? Uh, yes. For sure. I mean, I did the, the I attempted the Australia run. And I might start someone else, but I'm also tempted to just do EU4 first. It's tough because they're all... 
they all have an CK2, EU4, and Hoi all have an expansion coming soon. Hoi probably the furthest away. Um, and it's like, oh, which one do I want to start now? Which one's been the longest? Oh, I didn't cancel the thing to do the freaking freaking frick. The technological capital. That being said, the technological capital should actually be in the middle over here because what it does is it gives a plus three adjacency bonus to research stuff. So we want the, the, the capital to be in the middle of this little ring here. So we want to destroy this previous one and uh, we need to acquire r, &R Spice, which we could probably trade with someone. We might be able to buy it in the market as well, but it's probably expensive. 475, I mean, it's not so bad. Hey, I got an achievement for that. I've never used it before. Technological capital, boom, there we go. So it'll get plus three to everything. That's gonna be really good. So actually building the production uh, yard first actually did work out pretty well. Uh, we need to go and design actually our medium ship. Now again, we could start with just like the starter cube and then build our own from scratch, but I don't know, man. Ooh, that's different looking. I like it. It looks like it's got a spine. Okay, you. And then what? I mean, we could actually make some really fast ships if we wanted to. Increase the range of all ships. All kinetic. Let's increase the damage done by all missile weapons in the fleet. How about we give... Needs antimatter. But let's say we give you a missile guidance system. And another missile guidance system. And it uses up most of what you got. Like, we could have a single sort of command ship over here. A little bit of armor. There we go. No guns. So we could have a single... Uh, this is the Missile Aura ship. Missile Aura. And yeah, it's under support. It's not mapping the stars. This is a bad description. So we'd want to build one of those for our fleet. Oops. And another new design. And this one's just going to be another missile fighter ship, right? With the stingers. One, two. Two of those. Screw it. Let's get another set of missiles on here. Oh, we can't. I get one shield generator. Two shield generator, because we can fit it. Just barely. So it's exactly 64. And this one here is going to be... Oh, Claire. Oh, I see what you're... Like, going for a lot of, like, those sort of, um... Like, religious -y themes. So... So this could be the Templar. Oops. Escort, yeah. Uh, the Missile Aura ship. Um, we use this. We'll resave it as the Cleric. Boom. And so this old Missile Aura ship, we will just go ahead and delete that. So we have a Cleric and a Templar now. We can almost just obsolete the defiance. In fact, I think, whoops, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Just to remove them from the list. I mean, we could unfavor them, they'd move, but they are actually obsolete. Do 
this freighter is going to go way over here to that planet. Need a repair ship called the Priest? Maybe. So yeah, we're going to let these guys finish their queue. We'll order up one cleric, and then we'll start working on Templars. Oh, the stream is supposed to start now. Briarstone will be starting his... Uh... Briarstone will be starting his stream now. Uh, I suspect he's playing Darkest Dungeon today. So we're going to go ahead and do a raid on him. Thank you very much, everyone who came out today. Uh, a lot of great stuff happened over here in the... Ooh, this is all mineable, although it's very far away, so I don't know if it's worthwhile. Um, in the Galactic Civilization universe, we survived another war. We're still, like, behind in terms of militaristic forces. But I think we've got we've got some options for things, and in particular, it'll be interesting to see our influence growth and if that's something that can happen. And tech-wise, we're going to okay. Um, we are, yeah, we're going to throw it over the Briarstone. Next live stream should be this Saturday. We're going to play, I think we're going to continue our Lazy Bastard Factorio run. As usual, this is all supposed to go onto YouTube soon. I've been a little bit behind on things, but hopefully that'll happen soon. Uh, yes, and we're going to go and, and take care of Gilbert soon. So thank you very much for coming out, everyone. Let's go raid Briarstone. Thanks, everyone, who sent in a contribution to the Whiskey and Chocolate and Gilbert Vet Fund today. I really appreciate that. Everyone who followed, everyone who subscribed, and we'll see you on Saturday. Raid Briarstone. Boom.